Uh, this looks wild. 100 years on bass. And this book looks 100 years old, so that's like 200 years at this point. Retro bassin', kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. By the way, doesn't it feel like we're saying welcome to a whole lot more bassin buds as of late? It's pretty wild, but we've been doing this channel for roughly two years. And for whatever reason, we found a little chink in the algorithm last week and a couple of videos that we posted, honestly about a year ago, kind of took off. So if you are one of the new Bassin Buds to Retro Bassin, welcome. Definitely want to tell you a little bit about this channel here. As you might have suspected, it is a homage to the old school. We're talking five foot six inch pistol grip rods, lures that caught fishermen just as much as fish, fishing shows on Saturday and Sunday mornings, and let's not forget a good old foam trucker hat or two. You know, I grew up fishing in the uh, 90s and 80s, and I am not super wedded to one era. If it's rusty, if it's dusty, it's gold to this guy. So every Saturday on Retro Bassin, we're gonna fish it old school. We might be in the studio doing a tackle breakdown. I might be on the lake with some old school gear. Or we might be lure hunting in some of the amazing family owned tackle shops across this country. So thank you Bass and Buds and new and old for tuning in this week. By the way, I read every comment in the comment section and respond to as many of them as I can. But the number one question I get is where I gained my knowledge on old school fishing tackle. Well, let me be the first to admit, I am not the expert when it comes to this stuff. Get on the Facebook forums, whether it's the National Fish Lure Collectors Club or some of the other uh, niche lure collecting clubs that are out there, and there's literally thousands of folks who know a ton more than me. But when I am looking to get information on a given lure, a given professional fisherman, or a technique, there is one place I go, and that is Bass Fishing Archives. It was actually one of the big reasons that I started this channel two years ago. I was researching some old lures, and you could find nothing on them on the internet. If you went to YouTube, maybe you found like a two minute blurry video of some antique lure in action, but that was it. There was virtually no online presence when it came to discontinued tackle. It kind of makes sense, right? It's kind of hard to get sponsored from a company that's no longer in business. But to me, that's what this channel is all about, is preserving that history. So here is the site itself. I will pull up a little image of it. This is the homepage for Bass Fishing Archives. It's started by two different uh, individuals. The first one is Terry Battisti, who has been an outdoor writer for many, many years. He's written for In Fisherman, for Bass Master Magazine, and he and I have definitely become good buddies over the course of this little retro bass and adventure. It was also founded by Brian Waldman as well. And between Brian and Terry, there ain't a little nook and cranny of bass fishing history that they don't know. What if you're looking for a little history on a long forgotten bass fishing pioneer like Bill Murphy? Bass Fishing Archives has that too. Or maybe you just wanna find some information on your favorite lure from high school, like the old Meps Bass Killer. Or maybe it's that first reel you ever owned. <laughs> They've got it. So Bass Fishing Archives, uh, we are not sponsored by Bass Fishing Archives, but Terry and I uh, are sort of kindred spirits when it comes to preserving the old school. They have featured Retro Bass, and we will be featuring Bass Fishing Archives on this channel. So definitely go check them out. 
It is bass-archives.com and I will 100% drop a link to that down below in the video description. But the reason that we decided to do a, a little Bass Fish and Archives tribute today, in addition to the fact that I think it is an awesome website, is the fact that Terry sent me a little care pack that I have been sitting on for some time. And today is the day to finally open her up. So here is a little gift pack that Terry sent me. I have been sitting on this for a hot minute. As has been pretty much customary for me, I have been traveling like the full of brush man. So I am glad to get back in the studio. Y'all don't want to see the pile of goodies that's below this desk. But today, Terry said he put some special stuff in here. I have literally no idea what that could be. <laughs> but we're going to find out. One of the greatest things, and I think one of the reasons that I first got hooked on bass fishing was that magic and that mystery of getting a box in the mail from Bass Pro Shops after you spent hours, maybe even days, pouring over one of those orders. Yes, you knew what you were getting, but there was something magical about a little present in the mail. Something even more magical about a, <laughs> having a present in the mail from a good buddy like Terry, and you don't know what's inside. <laughs> well, he packed it well. <laughs> uh, okay, so I literally don't have any idea what we've got in here. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. He did mention these. I'm going to try to cut these without cutting off a finger. <laughs> he put up a recent Instagram post on this. The original chatterbait oh look at that in all of its made in the usa old school glory <laughs> from old rad lures oh that is rad and who do we have on the cover here so there is uh brian thrift winner of the southeast stren on lake okeechobee the one and only combination of crankbait spinnerbait and jig and old school awesome <laughs> There's a nice one, looks like that's sort of in a brown crawfish pattern. There's another brown chatterbait. Oh man. Ooh, and there's one in a little blue and black. Terry knows me well. If I've got one, I've got none. There's almost nothing I hate more than getting like one of an old school lure because then I want to cast them as much as I want to collect them. And it's tough to do both when you only have one. So, dude, thank you for those guys. <laughs> awesome. Oh. <laughs> when it comes to inspiration for me in bass fishing, man, I really can't talk too much about old school tackle without mentioning Mr. Roland Martin. First off, I know that we've got a pretty good theme song, but when you get Bobby Bear to write your fishing show theme song, son. <laughs> so I do actually follow Roland on YouTube as well. And honestly, I think he's better on YouTube than he was back on Saturday morning fishing shows. But this is a pretty old school bait from Blue Fox. It is the Roland Martin. It's the double buzzer. Oh, look at that thing, man. That is sweet. I actually don't have one of those and I'm going to have to decide whether I cast or collect that. That's a toughie. $2.99 for the old blue fox. Look at that. <laughs> this is an awesome, awesome old school bait. Dude. And here's another one. Uh, this is the Roland Martin Black Flash. Okay, this one's popping out of the uh, plastic. So I'll show you the package here. There it is. Another one from Blue Fox. Man, um, I love everything Roland did with Blue Fox back in the day. And that is honestly old school, but man, that is a money looking buzz bait. It's got a really nice polished blade. And of course, there's that little clacker. <laughs> awesome, man. I will uh, try to slip this guy back into the package for now. 
until we decided what to do with him. <laughs> awesome. All right. What do we have here? Looks like we've got some old school jig heads. For the new Bass and Buds, we did a recent episode on the Virgil Wart Bass Buster Company, and I personally had no idea until I started doing the research that it was Virgil Ward that invented this, the fiber weed guard. And that one looks like an old school one. I've got a feeling that Terry customized this. I remember, I forget when it was, it probably was in some Bassmaster article that Terry wrote, where you cut off the top of the weed guard to make it flat. And what that does is it allows just a little bit better hook set, but keeps that weedless nature of the bait. Here's another one, this is interesting. It's actually got a little wire weed guard. Huh, let's check that out. I wonder how that goes. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it's supposed to be like. I've never seen that before. I wonder how that goes. Huh, no idea. <laughs> I'll have to ask Terry about that one. <laughs> okay, so here we have what looks to be a, maybe a book. There might be a little book in here. <laughs> There might be more than one book in here. I need to go see Terry uh, at some point soon, next time I'm out in Tennessee. He has got probably one of the biggest collection of old school fishing magazines and books out there. I would love to just do a walkthrough and film what he's got. But in the meantime, I think he sent me some good old books. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, the first one is The Complete Book of Bass Fishing by Grit Gresham. I have never heard of that book, or actually have not heard of Grits either, but any guy that can catch a smallmouth and a cowboy hat is okay in my book. Look at that. So what does this thing say? It is The Freshwater Bass, Habits and Habitat, Reading the Water, Finding the Fish, Lunkers, Artificial Lures, Natural baits, techniques, tackle, cleaning, and cooking. Because you know there's nothing better that I like than to clean and cook a good old smallmouth. <laughs> Let's see if there's any goodies in here. So my favorite part about these books uh, are usually the old school photos. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that old cat has a lot of old school wood up on the wall. Honestly, that kind of looks like Michael Bacon's office at Bacon's Tackle. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at those old baits, man. Well, what else do we have here? This is Lucas on bass fishing. Okay. Who's Lucas? I don't know who Lucas is. <laughs> Terry's probably just like grimacing right now. Okay, so this is Lucas on Bass Fishing by Mr. Jason Lucas. What year was this bad boy done? Copyright 1947. I wonder if they're gonna have any Guggen baits in here. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. Oh, look at this. Now, which plug to take? If that does look like me on the old retro wagon, I don't know what does. I've probably got that exact Umco tackle box. Back when you had to, I guess, you know, without the storage on boats back then, you had to put every lure you might use in a tackle box, preferably one really big tackle box. <laughs> All right, what is the last book? Oh man, okay, uh, this looks wild. 100 Years on Bass. And this book looks 100 years old, so that's like 200 years at this point. Who wrote this? Oh man, Dave Hawk. Okay, 100 years on bass. Uh, you can be a successful bass fisher. This longtime guide points out if you have three things going for you sensible equipment, a degree of easily acquired skill, and a knowledge of a bass's feeding habits, you can forget about luck. <laughs> Especially on this channel, you can definitely forget about luck. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, Dave Hawk won the National Professional Tournament in 1958, long before the old Bassmaster Classic. Uh, along with three other tournaments in the same year, and was named State Bass Champion of Texas. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know they had State Bass Champions. That's pretty wild. So what is in the old 100 years of bass? <laughs> Probably a lot of old school gold. That's what's in here. Well, first things first, here is a nice picture of an angler with a stringer of bass that would probably get you demonetized from the old YouTube these days. So that's nice. <laughs> Can you imagine how many thumbs downs I'd have if I ever put up a stringer of bass these days? Oh, man. Well, Terry, thank you for the care pack. I'll definitely be fishing with these chatterbaits in the very near future. If you're new to the channel, we'll see you every Saturday morning, just like the good old days with some good old school content. Till next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up, and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass and